Alright, I'm done now, I promise. Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Okay, so you're just gonna tell me that, and you're not actually going to follow me into the woods. Or you're not going to now, anyway. The Slumbering Weld. Okay, cool. This is an area. My oh my. Okay, that Wula, where do you think it got off to? That's a good question. Uh, the fog is really coming on thick, because once again... British Isles humor, memes, jokes. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright. Um, that's tall grass. Oh, hey, cool. Random encounters. And that is a chipmunk. A wild... What? What was that? Show me that again? Scrovet. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember that. Alright, so let's set you on fire. Um, I suppose this is as good a time as any to mention that uh, I'm going to be doing the usual things that I do when I do Pokemon games, and um, random encounters, uh, unless nothing interesting happens in them, I will be cutting out entirely. And um, trainer battles, I'll mostly be speeding up. I'll talk through a couple of them if I feel like talking. Um, it's uh, it, it tends to be very informal when I, when I do Pokemon games. Okay, so that's a random encounter. Can I, can I, um, can I, okay, so I can, I can walk slowly if I just, uh, if I just hold the, uh, control stick part of the way. Oh, you're gonna heal me, okay. If I ever need to, uh, which I am, have not so far, but thank you all the same. Let's see. I'm not gonna walk. It's a, it's, it's a lot of effort to, um, that's a bird. Rookity. Okay. Portmanteau of Rookery and, and like Chickadee or something. I'm wondering, um I I believe I did this in a Epic Battle Fantasy V, but the first time that I see new new monsters, I uh, I left those fights in just so that just so that we could see what they did. I might do that here. Um I will decide that by the time I go to edit this video. But anyway, that's a Rookity. One way or another, we'll be seeing most, if not all, of the monsters in um in trainer battles. Anyway, I please tell me I don't have to actually sneak, because I I don't have the patience for that. All right. Um. Let's see, can I, I I I still can't move the uh the camera. Without a Pokemon crying out, I mean I didn't hear anything. I have the volume on very low. Um, hang on. Alright, I'm turning the volume up. I've been told by my Australian friends who got this game a couple hours ahead of me that um that, that, that the music in this game is quite good, so I do want to hear that. Let's see, was there something I wanted to hang on, wait, if I if I go back into options and I see I have a Pokemon menu now, but what was this about camera controls, really? It it, it makes it sound like I can move the camera. Um do I have to turn on gyroscope controls? And, uh, hang on. Or is all this just referring to Pokemon Camp? Maybe that's referring to Pokemon Camp. I hope I get to figure out what that is soon. Alright, anyway. Alright, now that I've heard the, uh, now that I've heard the battle music properly a little bit, I'm getting- I'm strangely getting some Hoenn vibes from it. I don't know if that's just my imagination putting things into the song that aren't there. Um... But I feel like- I feel like I'm hearing like the Battle Frontier Brain or something in the Random Encounter music. I have to listen to it more carefully later on. Alright, maybe in the next battle I'll just let it play for a minute and uh, and think about it a little harder. Okay. I can't see- I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. This sounds like the work of a Pokémon. Or maybe, like, what's the what's the team, what's the evil team in this game? I think I've seen them at some point. Oh, hi. That's new. What the? If you say so. Okay, so we're doing the, uh... Oh, God, we're doing the thing that Sun and Moon did with the, uh, the Ultra Beasts. What's this? Are you gonna be important? Uh, let me, uh, let me growl you to lower your attack. I can hit Y for more info. Oh, okay, so that's, um, that's convenient. I can, I think Gen 7 allowed you to do that as well. 
you could hit the R button when you selected a move and it would show the show you the info or something. Um but anyway, let's uh let's use growl. The move has no effect. And you're just gonna sit there. Interesting. Is this the uh, is this sword puppy as I've been calling it? Without the sword? Do I have to get your sword back? Are you going to make me play fetch with the sword instead of instead of the other way around? It's okay. It looks like a phantom of some sort, and you just you just use the inverse of HM for defog. Um. Okay. Curious, curious, or incurious, sir. Hey, are we actually? I I just said that because, like, I'm I'm searching for words to say for commentary, but, um. You can't see anything. Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. It's mighty inconvenient, you know, that there's all this fog here. All right, so since we clearly can't do the job, can you uh, can can you make sure the the Wulu is okay, sir? Cheap dog puppy thing. Ugh. Dragonite. Oh, that was Leon. Okay. So he's he's like yelling at me or something. You're pants with directions. You always get lost. I'm gonna start telling people that now. Oh, that's nice to hear from the big brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting for ages for you two, and you two never showed. Of course I came looking for both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. I'm just picking that... I'm, I'm just picturing... Pi mm. I'm just picturing that Charizard picking up the Wulu and, like, rolling it around. Like a bowling ball or something. That's terrible. That thing is way too cute to use as a bowling ball. I want one. Just give me, just give me ball-related objects already. Don't take that out of context. Okay. Good job, Hop. Yeah, I got in trouble, and I caused trouble, and I ran off into the woods on my own, but he's gonna say good job anyway. Alright, that mad Pokemon attacked. I don't suppose you know what that mad Pokemon was. Oh, no, you're in complete denial. Okay. So you, this is like, is this going to be the obvious thing from Xenoblade where, like, nobody else will admit to seeing it until, like, way the end of the game or something? All right, you moves past straight through it. So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, lived, lives in the slumbering weld. Okay, so you do kind of know about it. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now! And I say that as if I'm going to end the video. Let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. All right, even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to the Wedgehurst now. We're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare you if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just would. Oh, she'll go spare. I, not, she won't spare me because that would be like the opposite. Okay. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so the outside of my house and, and Lee's looks completely different, but the inside basically follows the same plan, which is interesting. Does it? I think it does. Because there's the... Oh, no. He, uh, theirs has stairs and some other stuff upstairs, and um, there was the kitchen over here. And we also have a, a, a Meowth bed, I'm noticing. Oh, that's, that's for Munchlax. Okay. And, uh, in our, in our house, the kitchen's over here. Okay. Yeah! My, mine, my, isn't that Squirrel Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad everyone bothered to tell me. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe the potions or something. Remember that Squirrel Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. And you, Score Bunny, look after my little Dragonite. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Glad you have confidence in me. Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Okay. Let's see. Um. I'm trying to use the the, uh, the D-pad buttons on the Switch controllers on the Joy-Cons to move around, and it's not working, and I'm, like, surprised. All right. Is that Bread. I seriously need to go eat lunch, but I, I seriously don't want to stop playing Pokemon. Um, let's see. Someone is sending me messages on Discord, and this might not be the best time 
because I am kind of sort of recording something and um I need to uh I need to not be distracted by that. Numu Behehe. <laughs> Those are not sounds I would have expected sheep to make, but okay. Actually the second one kind of is. The first one's more of a like I would expect that out of a grass Pokemon or something, but anyway. Alright. Wooloo. I wanna I wanna move the camera just so that I can point out the Wooloo. Why? Why game? Zero out of ten. I can't admire the Wulu in as many different ways as I'd like to. Okay. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against the Pokemon in the tall grass. Oh, yes. There is that one item ball over there. And the game is making a point. To point the camera just over its shoulder to make sure that I notice it. Uh, you should get yourself to off to the building with a purple roof and the great... Re and the great red and white ball mark on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, I was going to say, is that the Pokemon Center? Did they get an over? Did they get an overhaul? And that was a uh, that was Poppin. Interesting. The monsters have a much lower draw distance than everything else. All right. Um. I hear something. Okay, let me. No, I didn't want to. Fine. So, can I... I believe this was a thing in the Let's Go games, but I have not played any of the Let's Go games, but can I see the random encounters on the overworld? Or at least some of them? I, I know that I saw the actual random encounters when I was running around earlier um, in the uh, in the forest. That's a Wooloo. I don't want to hurt the Wooloo. I want to catch the Wooloo. Which will ine inevitably end in it getting hurt anyway because it's going to battle. Can I just... Can I do the Ash Ketchum thing from the anime and just catch like 30 Wooloo and send them off to the professor? All right, enough of that. Um, but it, it does anyway, to make a very long story short, appear that I can, um... I can, uh, run into the encounters on the overworld to catch- to, to encounter them. That is something new. Hello. What is the red thing? That is a fox. Uh, a wild nicket. Heh. That's a pun on thief. Is it a dark type? Is it part dark type? Fire dark? Let's see, it's red, which means fire, right? Because that's how video games work. It looks like that's not very effective. Oh no, that just didn't do damage. Um, it, it did use beat up though. Which does imply dark type. Um, let's see if I can do more with tackle. Tackle did more. So, do you resist fire or do you just have godly special defense? Um, it didn't say it resisted it, did it? Was there any other indication on the screen anywhere? No. I know that other games have used, um, have, have indicated type effectiveness in ways other than Pokemon. Um, Golden Sun especially stands out. Uh, if you were to use a super effective hit on something, it would say it did X amount of damage with three exclamation marks. If you did a neutral hit, it would just have one exclamation mark. And if you used a not very effective hit, it would use one. Um, I don't see anything like that here, though. That's a critical hit. But in any case, it does seem like a... Tackle was doing much more damage than the fire moves, so, okay. Anyway, I learned Quick Attack and got a level. Or maybe it would be more appropriate to say I got a level because I learned Quick Attack. No. Oh, God, other way around. Alright, whatever. Anyway, that's a Paralysis Heal. Paralyze Heal, and, um... Wow. What, what, what is that? Why are you glowing? No, I wanted to... Wait. Oh, God, that's, that's hideous. Get it away from me. Um, that's a bug. That's That can only be a bug. That's a blip bug, it's, it's called. So that is indeed a bug. Um. Wh what can that possibly evolve into? That is, that looks like one of those things where the butt is actually the end facing me, and it's just got these massive decoy eyes, and the head is going to be some tiny, terrifying little abomination on the other side. Um, but anyway, why are you glowing? Are you going to do that Dynamax thing on my face? Is there any reason you might be glowing? Wait, I have Pokeballs? Can I go back and get the Wooloo? Hang on. Um, how many do I have? I have five. I'm not- I don't want to catch a Chipmunk, but hang on. Wait. Okay, so the weirdest thing happened here in that... Tackle actually did about as much damage as, uh, as Ember did. Does this thing just have garbage special attack right now or something? That's a critical hit, which is pretty convenient. Um, we're gonna use rollout. 
Am I not getting the same type of attack bonus from from uh, Ember or something? I'll heal after this fight. Or um, did Tackle just get buffed again? All right, let me let me investigate that at, right after this. Um, I I got another level. Okay, my physical attack is indeed a uh, twenty five percent stronger than my special. Okay, that could account for some of it. Um, I need to heal. I gained 129 W? What's that? Is that like Watts from the Pokewalker or something? Mystery gift. Is there one right now? Can I just search for a mystery gift? Get via internet. Hang on. No, wait. Oh, God. Alright, whatever. I hope this recording doesn't explode then. I'm now connected to the internet. Yes, I know I'm connected to the internet. Are there any mystery gifts available? I wasn't aware that they're going to... Uh, Gig Gigantamax Meowth mystery gift. I wasn't aware that they were going to give anything away, um, as they have in the past. Um, there was the, uh, there was the Blaziken Torchic thing from, uh, X and Y. There was the, the Matang from... What was it? Uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But I guess they are. Um, that's my party now, is it? I'm not planning on using a Meowth. Um, hang on. Uh, what I came in for? Healing. Hang on. Oh, there's, there's key items, too. Adventure Guide and Fishing Rod. So I get the Fishing Rod right off the bat. Um, if I want to. I'll, I'll have a poke around in the water later, I suppose. Meowth isn't... Meowth is on my team. Alright. Um, oh god, I didn't mean to run into that. Alright, anyway, I need I need to find myself a Wooloo. I'm sorry that I'm wasting so, so, so much time in this video, but... Alright. Oh, that's a progress gate. <laughs> um, God. On paper, that's even dumber than the dancers in the gate in, in uh, Gen 5, but... <laughs> Wooloo. Alright, I saw one over here. I don't know if, it will, if it'll still be here. It is not. Oh, it is. Hang on. Wooloo! I must catch. Yes, we are doing this. I encountered a wild Wooloo. This is this is vital. Um, I might have been able to catch you earlier when I came through here, but um, I did not see that I had Pokeballs. Oh no 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 no! Bad no. I'm sorry. You're too strong. Bunny is too strong. Oh god, now I need to find another one. So I said this to my sister while, while we were driving to uh, to Target to pick up this game this morning, but I I was going to assume that um I'm not even going to attack you, X. I was going to assume that uh Wooloo was basically going to be the early game normal type of this game, uh the Rattata, Sentra, Zigzagoon, whatever, and I am encountering you on the first route that I'm that I'm entering. Oh cool, that was nice, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I'm not going to think it's the it's the Rattata or whatever because um. And there you see Meowth gaining experience. Um, there is the Chipmunk, and the Chipmunk looks a lot less... Uh, uh, the Chipmunk thing looks a lot more run-of-the-mill than the Wooloo does. Alright, what am I going to name you? I have to give you something good. This has to be... Uh, this has to be... This is, this is the most important decision in the game, is what I'm naming my Wooloo. Oh, you know what? And I was actually also thinking this uh, a little while ago and forgot. One of my teachers likes to wear a, likes likes to wear a hat when it, wherever he goes. And uh, yesterday, I told him that I I always thought, and I'm going to switch Wulu out front or Steve as I should call him because nicknames. Um, yesterday, I told him that I I always thought his hat looked like. Scottish Shepherd hat whenever I saw it and he told me yes that's basically what it is and it also has a technical name that I can't remember so I'm going I'm going to name my Wooloo after my teacher I'm sure he would get a kick out of that look I'm sorry I'm sorry for all the British Isle stereotypes I, I I can't resist all right Wedgehurst so um Charizard I'm petting the dragon Alright, your text is, um, your text is kind of overlapping each other. The ultimate Charizard, you don't say anything, you just, um, you have that text hovering on the screen. Okay, that's a little weird. I, I was never really a fan of that in video games, uh, Pokemon or otherwise, but 
whatever. I can't read that. All right, the Pokemart. The Pokemart. Okay, is that not part of the Pokemon Center? I guess not. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to hit the A button. Um, is this a train station? The train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection because why would we, we be allowed to hop on the train in in the early parts of a, of a video game? Okay, does this say anything? I can't read the text. Now that we're finally playing on a console who with a video resolution high enough to actually put legible letters on posters and stuff, and they decide to use letters that don't mean anything, are we going to learn to read at a certain point in the future? Are we going to, um, is that going to turn into actual English later? Whatever. All right. So maybe, um, I guess that's the train station. That's not an actual Pokemon and it just happens to have a store in it. Um, I was told to go here, wasn't I? I'm going to do the, fine, Leon. I have managed to find the research lab. Really? I mean, it's pretty prominent. Hopeless with directions, are you? Is that your one flaw? You're the Mario Sue, but instead of being clumsy, you're hopeless with directions? Alright, whatever. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow work? That sounds like a dog. Is that a dog? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, my, my heart already belongs to Wooloo, but you're making a bid. What is it today, Leon? Looking for another- looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon. Obviously, super strong. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. So, are we officially done with the professors being, like, middle-aged, ancient Professor Oak, Professor Rowan people, and are we now talking to graduate students or something? Uh, good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Stop talking about food. It's officially after 12, so I need to, uh... Like, I, I, I should think about eating, but I also am thinking about playing Pokemon, so I'm probably not going to think about eating for a while. Uh, she makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Okay, so maybe you are just like a, a grad student lab tech or something, and you're, and you're not the actual professor. Alright, this is Dragonite. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Come on, I've been doing this for how many years now? Who, what does he think I am? He always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Alright, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Oh, this is back. Okay, that's unfortunate. It's evolved from the, like... Baby's first computer thing that the Rotom Dex was in Sun and Moon to an actual um, piece of computing hardware that you would expect a teenager to carry around, but um, Leon still gets lost. So I am noticing a bit of a a bit of contradiction here. I I do actually. Earlier, um, Hop mentioned that Leon was always like paying attention and being sharp and whatever, and that's how he ended up being the champion. And here we're learning that he's got his head in the clouds and he's always getting lost. I don't know how that's going to be reconciled if it is. Um, could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Okay, I guess. Anyway, I do want to end it off here. I actually, once again, I wanted to end it off outside, but uh, I took one step too far and ended up, ended up in a cutscene. My name is Dragonite. This has been Pokemon Sword, is what it says on the box. Um, in the next part, we're going to be going and visiting Grandma down Route 2. I hope you all enjoyed that. There's a little greenhouse in there. And I will see you all later.